I'm not gonna be able to keep her cool. Be I, sorry. Oh gosh. Welcome back. I can't. You know, it's, it's, it's mess it. Die. Ah! La, 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 la. Anyway. Our next guest, well, I basically think you know how I feel. I'm losing my mind because she's here. I'm freaking out. Her motto is, life is a musical. She actually just turned 50, and she has never looked better. So here, to bring melody into all of our lives. It's <laughs> Best intro ever. Way to make a girl feel great. Oh, Debbie, I'm so excited that you're here. Oh, I just love Me you so too. much. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. I think we share that life philosophy. You know, you were talking in the news about how you never quite feel like a grown up and you love that sense of play. And I think as showbiz women, like we've been given permission to play dress up and play characters and keep this whimsical attitude about life. And I feel like everyone can bring that into their own life, especially like this past year has been hard. And I think we, we all need to kind of develop some kind of philosophy to flip the script and, you know, kind of just uh, lighten things up. So yes, that is my philosophy. <laughs> well, and your motto about life as a musical, you had a video that went viral. And I think not only do you have this great attitude and you're right about giving ourselves an excuse to be playful, but you can even bring it into, you know, everyday chores and everyday life. And it just makes everything so hopeful. Hopeful. Let's roll the clip. I want everyone to see this. Okay. <laughs> but would you be mine? Could you be mine? You guys hanging in? <laughs> I mean, I just love that there are certain things in life that kind of produce that frown mentality, like it's things that we have to do, and you're yeah. approaching it like this. Well, I just remember the day that I did that because, you know, I deal with some health issues, and I think everyone this past year, if you've had pre-existing issues, or if you didn't, you developed them because it was just a hard year for everybody in their own way. I am a solo female. I live by myself, which I actually love. But, you know, I was, I was kind of curled up in a ball that day. And I was like, I need to get unstuck. I allow myself to feel every feeling that I have to feel. But then I go, all right, I can now either continue spiraling down or I can spiral up. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be funny if I just put on the flashiest, most expensive pair of heels I have to do the trash because it's trash day and film it. And that's where social media can actually be a great thing because now people look for it on Mondays. I don't do it every Monday, but people started to look for it and they're like, wonder what she's gonna wear next or what you're gonna, and, and so it really is a, a case that we can lift each other up and yes, you can take some mundane task and make it a great happy thing. Well, what about this next clip? Um, let me show it and then tell me about it. <laughs> you know what time it is, everybody? It's time to mock. I will never look at a Swiffer the same. Oh my God, so those are my tap shoes that I've had since I'm like 14 and they're falling apart. And the same thing, I'm like, all right, let's just infuse a little humor into, again, what can be such a, you know, a grind. So yeah, I just feel like, you know, I remember when Joan Rivers was alive, who I just loved, she said similarly, like, if you look at your life like it's a movie and you kind of observe it from the outside, it becomes comical, the things that could be so painful you can put a comical spin on them because, you know, I think, I think one thing I've learned through getting older and evolving is stuff's going to continue to happen and it's how you handle it. 